Good, <coughs> good morning, good morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday morning. So this morning, let's talk about uh, your copy bar setup under $1,000. If you are watching this video, most likely you have something at home, okay? But if you are brand new to the channel, uh, thinking about upgrading to something better than you have, you might want to stick around. And so today, let's talk about one thing. Okay, let's face it. $1,000 is a lot of money. Okay, $1,000 is a lot of money for even coffee bar set up there. So uh, before we start, again, uh, if you are spending, if you just spend like $30, $40 on coffee gear, so this might be somewhat eye-opening for you, okay? Because $1,000 for uh, the starter setup is not that bad, okay? It's not that bad. I know some of you out there drinking the pot coffee, Keurig, or some, uh, like Nespresso, something like that at home. I mean, that's fine too, okay? I mean, that motion costs you about, what, 150 bucks to like $200, and then you buy the pot, okay? But if you want something a little better, okay, something better than what you have, so you need to willing to spend about a thousand bucks. Okay, so let's talk about what, what's in that range. Okay, what's in that range there? So we have, so here's my recommendation. Bravo Barista Express, Bravo Barista Pro, okay? And I know some of you out there think about getting the Bravo Barista Impress. So Impress, it just came out about, what, uh, sometime last year. Okay, so they're brand new. So. So it, Bravo, uh, Bravo Brista Express is a thermal block, okay? And then Bravo Brista Pro is thermal jet. Thermal jet is extremely fast. As you can see, machine is off. I'm gonna press it. Now we are ready to brew, okay, within like three seconds. And with Bravo Brista Impress, they're thermal coil, okay? So it's not as fast as a thermal jet, but they're faster than thermal block. So right on between. And also they have like self-guided uh, temping mechanism as well. So, uh, so Express is about 750. Okay, 750 for the Express. Uh, Bravo Pista Pro is about 850. Okay, over 100 dollars more. And then the Impress is, is about 879. So you, you are pushing about 900 bucks for that coffee machine. <clears throat> So, I mean, goodness, the $50 difference there. Yeah, by the way, if you are thinking about getting impressed, let me know in the comment section as well, okay? I'd love to hear from, you know, what your thoughts on impress. I know a uh, few of our friends uh, made a review on that. I know Kyle did and also Lance did a video on the impress. But yeah, let me know, okay? How many of you are thinking about getting the impress over uh, Bravo Vista Pro? Okay, so once you have the coffee bar set up, so now we have this, right? Let me show you guys. So Bravo uh, Express Pro or Impress, all the machine comes with entire set, okay? That comes with a temper, comes with a portal filter, various baskets as well, okay? They give you everything you need, all right? So now what, okay? So, not, uh, so let's say you spend $800 on coffee machine, okay? Let's say you went with uh, Express. Is about 800 bucks. Once you're getting into it, you need to get a, some kind of dosing funnel. Okay, so this is a must. Okay, it's a plastic, but this is a must, highly recommended. And then you need some kind of dosing cup. Okay, anywhere between 10 to 30 dollars on dosing cup. Scale is also a must as well. Okay, 15 to 20 bucks for the scale. And you need to have some timer. You gotta have a timer, okay, if you wanna get into coffee. So now, we, we spent over 100 bucks right there. You need to get a, some kind of coffee container. So this is a, not a Airscape, it also makes pretty good uh, uh, coffee container. Fellow Atmos, okay. So that's just, just a couple of gears you need to setting up your coffee bar. I'm not even getting into tools right now, okay? We're gonna get there, okay? And then we need some coffee cups, all right? So coffee cups, I mean, you could keep using coffee cups at home, right? You, whenever you're on vacation, one of those is mug, you could do that, okay? But if you are, 
getting into coffee as your hobby, you know, you want something a little nice. Okay, so something like uh, this. Uh, so this cup from not neutral, but you can get whatever you want. Okay, so some make sure latte art friendly. You know, looks really cool. So now you're gonna spend money on cups. Okay, so now you have money on cups. And let's talk about tools. Okay, talk about your tools. You could spend pretty much fifteen, twenty dollars, all the way up to two, three, four hundred dollars on tools alone. So if I were you in the beginning, just keep it simple. Okay, don't even uh, thinking about investing money on fancy tools. All right. So this is a, a wooden temper uh, from San Antonio Industry. Fantastic. Okay, looks nice. Fits right in the magnetic as well. Okay, so they're really good tools. Uh, 53.3 millimeter, a lot more precise than regular stock. But again, it's not gonna make coffee better. Okay, let's face it. All right, uh, 0.3 millimeter is not gonna it's not gonna change your coffee much. Okay, but I mean, looks sharp, uh, very static. I mean, it's, I mean, it looks really nice. Let's put it that way. All right, and then so we got some regular cups, and also you got if you want to get some espresso cups as well. So. So it's not, okay, it's not the 800 bucks on coffee machine, okay, 750 to $800 on entry level coffee machine. You're going to start adding up all this extra, get $2,000 really, really quick, okay. So again, uh, if you're thinking about investing 1,000 bucks on your coffee bar setup, uh, consider yourself about at least 200 bucks set aside for the, your other stuff, okay, tools even temping mat as well okay such back about 15 20 bucks these are like small dollar amounts as a and we're not even talking about coffee either okay coffee either so uh so a coffee like this 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 is a i got from friends at good brothers coffee here five pound bag okay and the britain does the two pound bag as well but yeah so th this is about five pound bag in the beginning, you are going to waste a lot of coffee to starting to dial in your coffee. So, uh, I do have a coupon code for Brent. So, use that code. Okay? But if I were you, uh, go to even Costco. Okay? Costco has like two pound bag, like Lavacha. Start with those coffee. Okay? Start with those coffee and start to learn how to use coffee. Uh, use your coffee machine because it's going to be struggle for at least a couple of weeks okay uh, by the way i do have a uh, plenty of videos on uh, re regards to bravo Brista express and pro so if you're having a hard time just go back to my old videos let's see here what else i think that i think we got pretty much cover guys okay pretty much cover by the way so how many of you right now thinking about upgrading your coffee machine okay yeah let me know yeah, let me know so Meantime, let's brew some coffee. So I already measured out, get 18 gram here. Again, I know some of you like to use the hopper. I'm a big fan of a single dosing. What, what is single dosing? You just measure out. I like to do eight, uh, 18 gram at a time. So just put 18 gram in. And then I'm just gonna use my bottomless pork filter for now. I'm just gonna do some dummy shots here. So that's it. Okay, I'm just gonna wash my powder filter. Uh, with a the thermal jet, okay, uh, you cannot heat up your powder filter. Okay, only way to do that is do a couple of dummy shots like this. All right. Just like so. I'm just gonna, oh, uh, if you are curious about the, my grinder size, my grinder size is number 13 as my grind size right now. <laughs> so right now I got so it usually takes about maybe like 18 seconds maybe grind, uh, one gram per second 18 20 okay here we go all right so you got the green coffee here I know some of you likes to use we are talking about tools right so this is my homemade WDT tool, wine cork and some acupuncture needle, that's it. All right. You could spend 
pretty much next to nothing for WDT tools. And also you could spend about $500 on WDT tools as well. You get $500 for WDT tools. Uh, you can check it out at the Weber workshop. Okay, Weber workshop. $500 guys. Or just spend, you know, maybe what? I'll keep them to it'll cost you about what, a couple bucks. Okay, I'm just gonna just declump everything here. Okay. I just give it a I mean again it's very fluffy. Alright. You know, some people like to use the like uh, distribution tools. I'm just gonna hold on, let me show you how, how I do it. I'm just gonna tempt it. That's it. Okay, I'm not even bothered to do distribution right now. I'm just gonna go. Comes to temping, just make sure everything is all nice and flat, okay? Level. That's pretty much it, just like so. And uh, I do enjoy using the puck screen uh, because you're gonna get the dry puck. Just lock it in here. Uh, we are talking about scale, right? So why? The reason why I like to use a scale because, so I like to go maybe like one to two point five ratio for my espresso. One to two point five. I know some of you likes one to two, one to some people likes one to three, uh, within like between like twenty and twenty five and thirty second range. Okay, so that's just the guideline. All right, uh, that's not the, you know, I mean that's not, again. Uh, comes to recipe wise that's your coffee guys okay i mean if you like to do one to two ratio i mean that's your coffee one to three so come up with your own recipe all right i'm just gonna get my scale going so great thing about the bravo Vista pro comes with a built-in scale we got built-in timer actually not the scale built-in timer all right so let me show you guys the what they look like here. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna stop around 50 gram. About 20 seconds. Okay. 20 seconds, so. Uh, I mean, I'm, I want to be between like five seconds longer. Still has a beautiful crema as well. You know, let's try this shot anyway. Okay. Let's try the shot. So this is the coffee from uh, Liquid Brothers Coffee. It's called Liquid Amber. Man, look at the all the crema here. I mean, it looks good, okay. But I'm not a big fan of crema. Uh, it can be very bitter. Cheers. Very classic Italian style, smooth, kind of like dark chocolate. I feel like I'm tasting like uh, like 75% dark chocolate there. And I, I bet you I can go even, uh, right now I'm at 13. I bet you I can go down to even 11, okay? 12, 11, make that even more, yeah, and get the more better extraction. But still this, it's still hmm, slightly under extracted. Again, the 20 second shot at 50 grams, so. Uh, the best thing is maybe go down to maybe like tw uh, 12, maybe 11. So again, so there is no magic number for your coffee, okay? Because every coffee are different, okay? Every coffee are different, so just play with your grinder setting, all right? Anyway, if you're just joining us, we are talking about spending $1,000 on your coffee bar setup, especially your espresso, okay? And if you go to Amazon right now, you're gonna see a lot of coffee machines for sale. Okay, a lot of coffee machines. And then once in a while, uh, I mean, some of you may uh, miss it. Uh, about a couple of weeks ago, the Bravo had a sale. Okay, so 
Express was about six fifty, about about hundred dollars less, and then about seven fifty for the Pro. So, uh, if you don't want to buy it right now, uh, wait. Okay, wait until. Uh, so one of our uh, bribery is going on. So I'm gonna go quick live streaming for you guys, so you can you know you can catch the deal of God. because they go usually on sale a couple times a year, maybe one in spring and one, uh, one in summer, and definitely before the holiday. So uh, again, comes to yeah, comes to a coffee machine. You cannot beat the uh, Bravo Vista Pro or Express. I mean, if you are casual coffee drinker which means you do enjoy the milk based drink as well okay but if you are truly if you just want the espresso only we are talking about espresso only it's going to be a completely different setup okay completely different setup there hold on let's see here let's check out some of your comments let's see here we have we are talking about the filter baskets okay we have carry by the way thank you so much for the kind words yesterday thank you so much for the kind words there uh, oh yeah hold on okay so we talk about coffee gears we talk about the tools man I totally forgot about the filter baskets okay filter baskets so now we need to talk about filter baskets okay so the, okay by the way the reason why I like to use the puck screen because the dry puck that's it only reason all right all right so this is the IMS the 18 gram baskets all right and uh, this one has a stock baskets in it uh, it's gonna be taste better and eh, not really I know some of you may think so you think uh, you think you're gonna get a better extraction but personally, I like the IMS baskets. It's got fit better, okay? The stock basket cannot fit 18 gram. Very hard. Uh, especially if you're using the darker roast, it's going to be overflown. So it's too much. But with the 18 gram baskets, uh, it's going to fit 18 gram just fine. Uh, if you like to uh, drink a lot of espresso in the morning, uh, get the 20 gram baskets from IMS, okay? So that sets you back about 25 to 30 bucks for the baskets. And also, I have, got, I have the shower screen as well from IMS. So, I mean, is that worth upgrading it for now? Uh, uh, definitely baskets. I, I recommend you to get the basket so you can get a better, you know, you can put enough coffee in it. Shower screen, you can wait for a while. Okay, you may not need it. Because since, I'm, since if you are using the puck screen, it's not going to help you much. So, yeah. Shower screen, you could wait on that. Uh, comes to, again, it, the small things adds up. Okay, it's all add up. So, I mean, thousand bucks is not like it used to be. Okay, because before, if you can spend thousand bucks, you can get some really decent stuff, but with the inflation now, yeah. So that is just a, pretty much the basic setup. And they, again, if you're into just the express only, uh, maybe we should talk about that tomorrow morning as well at the, my coffee desk. Okay, tomorrow morning at coffee desk, I'm gonna share with you what it looked like. You know, spend about thousand bucks on just an espresso only coffee bar, because with this comes with built-in grinder, so you don't have to buy a grinder. But if you do espresso only, which means most machine does not comes with a built-in grinder, so we're not even talking about filter coffee we are just talking about just regular coffee bar just espresso yeah let me know okay let me know about your coffee bar setup how much did, uh, did you guys spend money so far okay because spending a couple of grand is pretty easy on your coffee bar setup there easy okay I mean if you go with a nice dual boiler machine I know I just learned that uh, Bravo dual boiler is discontinued. So if you go with a nice heat exchange machine, you are looking at that fifteen to two thousand dollar range there. Uh, we have a dual boiler. You are looking at uh, anywhere between seventeen, eighteen, up to like twenty five. If you're gonna go the rotary pump, over three grand. 
that's just a coffee machine. I'm not even including a coffee grinder. Coffee grinder sets back about anywhere between five to two thousand dollars. All right, man. Hold on a second. Okay, Jay say honestly, not not much. Kept things really same. Okay. Uh, I mean, just again. If you want just a coffee in the morning, just a caffeine fix, okay. I mean, you don't need all that tools. Just just get yourself some good coffee. You're gonna have some. You're gonna be fine. But if you are coffee hobbyist, I, I think that's the something you gotta have to really ask yourself. Whenever you spend money on coffee bar, and how much I'm gonna spend invest time. Okay, not not the money here. How much you're going to invest time on your coffee as your hobby? If the answer is not much time, you may not even need a machine like this. Okay, You may not even need it. Uh, just get yourself... Yeah, just get yourself a pot, guys. Okay, Just you, get yourself like an espresso pot or Keurig or whatever. I mean, you know, you're going to get some really good coffee out of it. All right, because if your goal is just to caffeinate yourself, yeah, I mean, just skip this. But if you're interested in specialty coffee, okay, uh, definitely consider uh, kind of like set up like this. I'm willing to spend about a thousand bucks. Okay, willing to spend about a thousand bucks. Okay, hold on. Jay say eight thousand is Jay. I don't know what Jay is talking about there. Okay, computer high end setup. Yeah. Uh, again, I mean, most setups, I mean, so there's a high end, okay? High end setup, and also there's a, the beyond high end. I mean, that is, I mean, just like anything else, guys, anything else in your life, right? Just like buying a car. If you wanna get, if you wanna buy the car that gets you there point A to point B, so just like coffee, okay? You just want a good coffee in the morning and that's it. Oh, if you wanna go to the like hyper sports car, okay? Hyper setup, that's a different story. Which means you're gonna have your dedicated water line and then you're gonna set up a beautiful coffee machine anywhere between 10 to 20 grand for the coffee machine, right? And there comes the grinder, you're gonna have a two, most likely two, one for filter, one for espresso. Okay. And then you're gonna have tools, the finest tools they can offer. You are going to most likely you are going to buy that uh the Moonraker from Weber workshop. Okay, it's about five hundred bucks for the WDT tools. Okay. I mean most people are happy with this. Wine cook and some acupuncture needle. But again, some people out there willing to spend five hundred dollars on WDT tools. So it's all depend on what you guys want. All right. I mean that's why coffee is so much fun. Okay. That's why coffee is really fun to play with. You know, bring bring people together. Okay. Bring people together here. Hold on a second here. Uh, look, I'm looking at some comments from you guys. Man. I need to get a, put some glasses on, man. Goodness. Okay, somebody said, Uri said, bro, if you start all stuck with puck screen and plastic funnel, reduce the EMS, yep. Yeah, I mean, that's all you need. I mean, you don't need much. Comes to making a good coffee, get the Express or Pro, okay. Stay with all stock, stock setup. Get the plastic dosing funnel. That's all you need. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe this. M make yourself WDT tool. Okay. Maybe, maybe some puck screen. I think I, I really enjoy the puck screen. Or, or, um, these three tools. Okay. Less messy. You're gonna have that dry puck all the time. Yeah. And uh, ten dollar scale, ten or twelve dollar scale there. And timer, kitchen timer. That's all you need, all right? That's kind of like the ideal setup for most people. So all that setup right there, less than 50 bucks, okay? 
Definitely get the temping mat. Okay. Get a spend fiber or uh, spend about ten bucks on temping mat. Just get the temping mat. I think that's all you need. Okay, that's all you need for just a basic, basic setup. But once you're getting into start adding on, if I were you, okay, stay with the regular setup for now. Learn how to use your machine. Okay, if it is something you want to pursue, okay, uh, coffee as your hobby, and they keep saving money. Okay. Do not just go half fast. Okay, just keep save money, and then save as much as you can, and get the machine you want. Okay, do not go half uh, halfway, because you're gonna regret it. Within a few months, you wish you saved that money, to get something better. So, step with uh, Express or Pro or those matter. Just long as you can. All right, long as you can, and then about I say about. Save yourself about three grand. Okay, I know that's a lot of money for most of, uh, most of you out there, but three thousand is a pretty good number for setting up a decent setup at home. Yeah, and then you can resell. Bravo Vista, a Bravo machine has a pretty good resale value on it. You're gonna lose some money, but not that much. Okay. Bravo Infusion right now selling for six five ninety nine, six hundred bucks for the Bravo Infusion. It's been out for years, okay? It's been out forever. So yeah, they do hold their value. They do hold their value there, all right. Okay, Jesse's talking about the Flare 58. Yeah, uh, yeah, we, we should talk about that tomorrow, okay? Just the espresso bar only setup, okay? With the Bravo machines, you can get an espresso and also you can make yourself nice latte as well in the morning. Especially thermal jet, watch this. I turn the thermal jet, matter of seconds, as you can see, steam is ready to go, okay, steam is ready to go there. Steaming power is pretty decent too, okay, they are pretty decent as well, so. I had, uh, I had some people over past weekend, I made about eight coffee straight, okay, I made about eight coffee straight. Everybody wants iced coffee, so I pour eight espresso straight, straight up. Uh, no problem. Okay, so no problem there. So uh, if you're hosting some, you know, dinner party or you know, I mean, brunch, I think you're gonna be fine. Okay, I think you're gonna be fine with a machine like this. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Again, uh, uh, hopefully we are going to back to regular schedule. Okay, hopefully we are going to back to regular schedule for live streaming here. It's been a rough couple of weeks, I have to say. It's been a rough three weeks for, for our family. So I know some of you uh, hear what happened to my cousin, but you know, I know some of you saw, saw my cousin over the years. He just usually walked by my office every single day. Okay. We hang out, go out for lunch and uh, recently he passed away. So yeah, it's been rough for our family, but I mean, his spirit in our mind right now. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great morning and I'm going to see you guys around.